what about this one? If I write down this NH3 plus and pH3 and sorry, NH2. So NH3 plus and NH2? NH4 plus NH2. No, this bond means there is a molecule attached with it. That's why it is NH3 plus. Open bond means there is a molecule attached. Yes, sir. Right. So obviously this nitrogen has four bonds in that way. Okay? I will not write this. I will not write this. Okay? When I write this, it means this nitrogen attached with this three hydrogen and one more bond this side with the molecule. Okay? Who is going to tell you? NS3 plus. NS3 plus positive charges to subtract more electron. Right? So NS3 plus will be, will have more minus I nature. What about this one if I write down F, OH and NH2. Oh, I will put it. NS2. Sorry. So what will happen in this? Fluorine, Oxygen and Nitrogen. Compare करेंगे, so fluorine is more electronegative, nitrogen is less order to this, okay? SH and Cl, SH and Cl, fluorine is more electronegative, order will be this, okay? एक और comparison देखो, C triple bond N, CH double bond, CH sorry, CH double bond NH or CH two also you can. Or we can write CH2 and H2. Which one? So why is there no difference? Hmm? So because you said only the sigma thing takes power. Uh -huh. Pi bond to the dekhoi mat. Then those. Those kind of thing. So if there are more bonds, it's not like there's more. Huh? The first one is greater than. The first one is more than second one. Why? Why first one? Oh, because that no, has no hydrogen. No hydrogen and this is sp hybridized. So its electronegativity is maximum out of the thing. First of all, you have to see that molecule attached is this carbon, this carbon and this carbon. Okay? So this carbon is sp. But what is this carbon? Sp2 and this is sp3. Which one is most electronegative? Sp. Sp. Why sp? It's most s. 50% s character. Right? So more electron with drawing nature. Okay? So order will be this. Okay, C double bond OH and C double bond OCL. ये बताओ क्या होगा इसमें? C double bond OH, C double bond OCL. बताओ इसमें क्या होगा? Is it OH? Why OH? So because over here both of them are pulling in so lesser. Which one is pulling? CL. So इस दोनों में difference क्या है ये बताओ? So in in that one oxygen and chlorine are both no but it's different thing. So इन दोनों में difference क्या है ये बताओ पहले? So electron is more electronegative. Now what is the difference in these two? Yeah, the hydrogen yeah. and the yeah. difference yeah. C double bond O is attached to the molecule this side and here we attach the molecules same. So the bonding is same. Yeah. Difference is what? Yeah, the hydrogen yeah. Yeah. Fluorine hydrogen is electronegative. Yeah. So you can withdraw electron copy It means this guy as a whole electron withdrawing nature. Yeah. 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 When we electron withdraw karega, this carbon will be slightly more electron deficient than this carbon. कार्बन हाइड्रोजन का वी डोंट कंसीडर एन इलेक्ट्रोनेगेटिव डिफरेंस करेक्ट सो ये यहाँ से लेकिन ऐसा है कि मैंने इससे खींचा ये तुमसे खींचेगा वो तुमसे खींचेगा ऐसे चलेगा इंडक्टिव ठीक है मैंने तुमसे दस रुपए लिया तुम ले लोगों से दस रुपए वो से दस रुपए इस तरह से इंडक्टिव पेट्रोल sp2 hybridized, okay? So order of minus sign will be more for this. So we have to see what the difference is in the molecular dash. Based on that difference, we need to check plus sign, minus sign. So it's basically only hybridization and electronegativity. Electronegativity will be more nice, better, okay? So hybridization is one of the factors. Because sp is here, we have electronegative nature to find out. We can we are concluding electronegative nature of this carbon with the help of hybridization. Okay, that is the thing. Similarly, one more example you see. If I write down this molecule as double bond O O H and double bond O here, as double bond O O H. What are we speaking of? First one because यहाँ पे जो difference क्या है इतना तो है इसमें भी one extra oxygen will have this will also pull electron. So if you look at hybridization and हाँ 
Sir, no, 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 no. Hybridization will check once we have this molecule. See, the nature of the molecule is same here. Here it is entirely different molecule. It has three oxygen. So overall, this electron with drawing nature is okay. Right? So order will be this. Okay? Similarly, CF3, CCL3, CBR3 and CI3. What do CF3 is, CF3 is maximum because again fluorine is most electronegative, right? So logically you can do this kind of thing, okay? But there's an order of minus i effect that order will write down, okay? But in the exam if you get this kind of molecules, okay, you know the nature of these molecules is minus i and which one has more minus i effect that you can compare this way, okay? But you should know this order actually. You should know, you should have an idea of which one has more electron with drawing nature or minus i nature. Okay? So just write down this order as it is. NF3 plus is the most electron with drawing group. NF3 plus is the electron with drawing nature maximum head. And then we have NR3 plus. NH3 plus. So what's R? What's R? R is alkyl group. I'll come to that. To see order right now, my R is going NO2, cyanide, SO3H, C double bond OOH, fluorine, protein, then bromine, then iodine, C double bond OOR. OR, OH, C triple bond, CH, then we have a phenyl group. Phenyl group, you know what is phenyl group? Benzene ring say, a hydrogen removal. Okay? When benzene ring is attached with the group, it is phenyl group. Okay? Phenyl group, then we have alkene, CH double bond, CH2, and then we have hydrogen. Okay, you can read it, but a little order is important here that you must remember. Like this is important. Alkyne sp hybridized carbon is more electronegative than phenyl group, which is more electronegative than alkyne group. Means alkyne or alkene ke beech mein phenyl group. Hai. This one is important. Okay, this is question of your exam. Okay, this order you must remember. R group, this R is, R is alkyl group. What is alkyl group? Alkane say if you remove one hydrogen, it becomes alkyl. Like methane, methyl is the alkyl group. Okay, ethane, ethyl, butane, butyl, propane, propyl, like that. Okay, so in general, alkyl will write as R, organic chemistry. Okay, very hard to check. R is the alkyl group. And alkyl group are generally electron releasing group. This one are electron withdrawing, but alkyl groups are electron releasing, electron release per type. Okay, plus I effect. Okay. Okay. Now one thing you see, NH3 plus NH3 plus and NR3 plus. Which one of this? has more minus I effect. So you said NR3. NR3. Huh? NR3. Why? I said it. So you said that R, R donates like Haan, R. donates it. So that means that N will have a... Less density of positive charge. Yes. See, what will happen here? If logically, if you do not know the order, okay? And logically, if you think, like I said, alkyl groups are electron releasing, okay? So this alkyl group release electron, okay? And here, this won't release electron. So where we have more positive, more density of positive charge? First one. Okay? Yes. Because this electron release, this question will decrease. So here we have more density of positive charge. If you have more density of positive charge, then this should withdraw 
more electron. Yeah. So logically, if you think the order should be this. So if you do not know this, exam will be easier. Okay, this is the first magic of organic chemistry. Okay, you should know this thing that Nr3 plus has more minus I effect. Okay, Q has this kind of logic they talk about, but this is Q. But exceptions ke taur pe isko yaad rakhna. To understand, we'll have a logic here. And what is the logic here? Because alkyl group ka p orbital in this ka p orbital will be involved. Okay. <coughs> P P orbital, P P and P P orbital involved. ठीक हो रहा हूँ मैं। इसका तो S तो नहीं होगा ना P होगा कार्बन का। यहाँ पे क्या होगा? इसका S और इसका P involved होगा। ठीक है? इसका S इसका P involved होगा। So overall यहाँ पे S character will be less. The available S character will be less. But here since only P is involved, so here the available S character will be comparatively more. बहुत higher books पढ़ोगे उसमें ऐसा कुछ logically लिखा हुआ है। मुझे थोड़ा सा that is clear that you want to say. If no, I saw that he was being involved in how is the S character more? I am saying overall S character. Overall S character. For the molecule, here since P, P is involved, so overall S character of this molecule is more. Because this will also affect the electron withdrawing nature of nitrogen. So even in COOH and COOR, because like if I have R, then I am giving more to oxygen. Correct, correct. So oxygen will pull less from carbon. Correct, correct, correct. So no, then, then, then that makes sense. That makes sense. Then, yeah, so then, then that makes sense. But that is, see, you cannot apply this here because this carbon is attached with the molecule. Yes, yeah, so that's but where But here it is will be correct. Yes, yes, yes. Here it is will be correct. Okay, so here the order of NR3 plus is more than to that of NS3 plus because it has more available S character. Okay, here logic the other one is also do. But I'll suggest, this is the exceptions. Even, yeah, even, even if you take the same logic, we'll have this order also of OH and OR. OH and OR to be compared to OK. So, here the electron releasing it. Okay? So, here the electron density will be what will happen? The electron withdrawing nature will be less. Because this is giving electron. So, this electron withdrawing nature of oxygen will be lesser than this in comparison. But actually the order is this. Okay, with the same logic. Percent is the available S character. Okay? So, this two example you must remember. Okay, write it down. But note me karke. Next slide down. Plus I group. Plus I group. These are the electron withdrawing group. These are the electron releasing, not yeah. withdrawing. Sorry. Electron releasing group. All alkyl groups are electron releasing group. Electron releasing group. If you come, if you take the isotopes of hydrogen, like CT3, CD3, and CH3, tritium, deuterium, and uh, protium. Okay, hydrogen we have here. So for this, the order for CT3 is more than that of CD3 and CH3. Why? Wow. logic hai, but again, I'll suggest you to memorize this. Okay. Okay. One more point in this, you write down the bond length of CH is maximum and CT is minimum. We'll use this bond length thing in hyperconjugation. Okay, just you write down this order. Bond length of CH is maximum and CT is minimum. Okay, so which bond is the strongest here? CH or CT? Bond length maximum is CH ka, so bond strength minimum is mm -hmm. CH ka. So bond strength of CT is maximum. Okay. In this write down, as bond length increases, tendency to lose electron decreases. Write down. Due to high mass number, due to high mass number, the vibration of bond pair of electron is less and hence the bond length decreases. Right? So when mass number increases, the bond pair electron its vibrating tendency is very less because of the higher mass of the isotope. Okay, so bond uh, vibration is less, hence bond length decreases. Bond length decreases, so electron releasing tendency will be less. Okay, so this order you must remember. Next one you see, ethyl. If you have, if the molecular mass increases, suppose we have ethyl, methyl this one. What is ethyl? CH two, CS three. Propyl CH2, CH2, CH3. 
So if you compare the electron releasing tendency of these alkyl group, okay, as the carbon atom increases, the number of carbon atom increases or mass increases, electron releasing tendency also increases. Okay. Which one of these has maximum electron releasing tendency? CH3. last one has maximum okay because this three alkyl group releases electron okay so overall this carbon can release more electron okay this one is maximum here we have only two such group here we have only one and here we do not have okay so it's all over some other relative dekhte hain we just compare the given molecules in the question okay h2o is not an acid H2O का acidic behavior नहीं है, but H2O is more acidic than methanol, CH3O. So organic chemistry, whenever you have the, we have to do the comparison of acidic strength. So emotional होके नहीं सोचना है कि water तो acidic नहीं होता है, ठीक है? जो भी given molecule है, उसपे we have to take the decision, okay? Based on the you know logic and you know whatever concepts we are studying for that, okay? So point I am trying to make is what? The acidic strength, basic strength, stability, all these things are always relative. Okay? जो भी given molecule है, उसपे comparison करना है. ठीक है? Next write down. So two different effects we have done. 